Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I'm going to remake part four, where we uh, finish out a Excel trend line, and we put it in PowerPoint, and we animate the uh, PowerPoint slide to reflect what's going on with the graph. So I'm going to um, bring up PowerPoint, and the first three things we always do, slide layout, change it to blank. Um, slide design, that's the background. I'm going to go way over here to background and just select a nice black background. And our title bar, I'm going to use some Microsoft Corporation numbers, so um, we can just insert a text box. And make that the right uh, font and size, worthy of a of uh, title graphic. Uh, let's just do uh, Times New Roman. Let's see about uh, 54 bold, and we'll just do white. Microsoft Corporation. And then center it push it up a little bit and if we had other slides in this show we would not animate this would have animated earlier on slide one but I want to bring the graph in and get to that so let's insert uh, the, the graph which we've just made it a picture basically at this point did all the work in Excel and then saved it as an image and Let's see, let me go to a file that I can use for this. And with these values, like I said, this graph was done in Excel. I have that on the previous uh, part two, part three videos that you'll find in YouTube. And with this one comes in pretty much the size we need. Let me pull it down just a little bit more. I want to subtitle in here too. So let me just insert another text box that reflects a subtitle. And uh, this one we're going to say it's a revenue graph. So We'll just say annual revenue. Let me get a color that's going to work. Uh, 2005 to 2009. And actually, we can change this to reveal projected annual revenue because that's what we're going to do in this exercise is project it out. Center that, and we can actually project out to 2011. Obviously, those numbers are published by now, but it'll work for our exercise today. And we can bring up our animation pane and get some of this stuff animated. The subtitle would animate. Let's just use um, box in for that, and let's go find it. And that should be set to after previous for the subtitle. The graph, I like to use spiral in, so we'll go find that one. Last one on the exciting effects. And it should be set to after previous. And next we want to um, recreate the trend line that Excel did for us. So we have to look at it in Excel after Excel draws the trend line for you and mimic that on this PowerPoint slide. So that's what we're going to do. So let me insert a shape because within when you go to insert shapes you can select your uh, trend line. So go under lines and select a line. Your mouse will change and at this point you just want to start with the first point and a trend line remember is the best fit um, line. So it's not a connect the dots exercise. So we want to start, this one I believe starts right above the first data point 
and kind of sh goes to the top of the third data point and then shoots on through. You want to draw past 2009. That's the last bit of historical data I had at the time when I developed this graph. And we're going to go straight up through 2011 before we let go of the mouse. So somewhere up there we're going to let go. Now, um, make it the trend line as exact as you can based on what Excel did with it. And then you want to format the line. So I'm just going to go up to Format. And in this case, I'm just going to make it a bright red. And I'm also going to change the weight. So go back up to Shape Outline and select Weight and choose 4.5 point. And we do want to animate this. Now, the trend line is the star of this slide. So I tend to make this um, on click. So wipe is what I like to use. The direction is important, so it should be from left, and it should be on the mouse click. So start on click. Also, uh, next we should have a little text box that says linear trend line, so the audience knows what you're talking about. So we'll put that in there. And uh, in a small text box, Times New Roman, 24 point size would be good. Um, we can say, and make, let me make this bold, linear trend line. So that pops up actually after previous, which is usually opposite of the start we normally use. And let me use animation for this. I'm, I like to animate as I go on these. Um, we'll just make that one box in to keep it simple. And let's also go over here to the uh, animation pane and make that um, after previous so it just follows the trend line. Next we want to start our forecast part. So a more up to date one would be forecasting out to 2013, but this will work to forecast out to 2011 since our last known data point at this time was 2009. So we project out for two years. And we did that, of course, in Excel to see what Excel would do with the trend line. And now that we've mimicked it in PowerPoint, we're going to uh, start the forecast and we're going to insert another shape. This time it's going to be an oval. An oval is down underneath your basic shapes and it's the second one over. Ovals are a little funny. When you use, draw them, I suggest drawing them out to the side. You get the feel for how an oval develops on your slide. And uh, you can always change the size later, but just notice initially with an oval, the fill color is in there and you have to take away the fill color. So while it's activated, go up to Format, go to Shape Fill, and that's where you're going to um, say No Fill and turn that off. Now it's still blue. You want it red to match all your other arrows, lines, and, and items on this slide. So we'll go up to Shape Outline now and make it red. Go back and make the weight four and a half point and you get a better looking oval and I'm going to just move it now. I'm going to move it to where it's over 2011 where you can see 2011 uh, through the... Let me get just a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I need to animate as I go. So again with ovals, wipe works really good. So let's go to animations and select wipe. On this one, the direction doesn't matter because it's oval. It's going to start or finish up where it started at, so that's no, not a big deal. And we want to select the timing, and we want this to also be on click because this begins the forecast part of your presentation, and you want to know exactly what you're going to say and when you're going to say it. So you need to be in control of when that oval starts because that's when the forecasting is starting. So we say to, our forecast is going to begin in 2011. At that point we're going to snap an arrow that goes straight up and strikes the trend line. So let's put that in next. So we'll insert shapes again. This time we're going to do an arrow and start right at the uh, tick mark for 2011. It goes straight up until it strikes the trend line. Hold shift on your keyboard down if you have trouble keeping your mouse straight go right to the trend line. Again, you need to format that arrow, so we'll say red, and the weight should be four and a half point. Direction's important here, so when you go to animate, so let's go to animations, and it's wipe, and it should be from bottom this time. That's where it should start. And with it over here now, you need to say that should be after previous. It should follow the oval automatically. 
and then we want another arrow that starts exactly where you left off and goes horizontally all the way across till it strikes the y-axis. So let's insert another shape to make that happen. Again another arrow, start right at the uh, intersection point of those two and we'll draw that across. Again hold shift down if you need to. If you need to uh, shift it up or down use your arrow keys, they work nicely for that. Now animate or let's format this arrow to be red and to be four and a half point thickness. There we go. Time to animate. And we'll do wipe. Now think about your direction on this. In this case you're going from right to left as you're striking the y-axis. So you gotta change that to be from right. And it should be after previous. Uh, it's a good time to just stop and look at it before you go too much further, so I'll launch the slideshow at the bottom. Click. I talk about the linear trend line. When I'm ready to talk about the forecast, I click again. And it looks good so far. There's one other item I'm going to add, and that is kind of the finale of this particular slide. I'm going to have a little text box that announces the uh, results. So right in here, I'm going to make this like Times New Roman 24 point. Um, white or yellow would be fine as long as it matches and can be seen. Make it bold. And we can say uh, in 2011, our revenue projections are approximately uh, 75 and that's in billions, so I'll just say 75B. Now we need to animate this, and because it's kind of the finale, I want to time it with what my voice is saying, so I'm going to go up to animations and just say box in, but I'm going to make it on the mouse click after I do box in, so after I get the box in settled, I'm going to go over here and say start on click, so that when I'm ready to announce this, I'll click and that will pop up. And I could also make this a little bit wider so it's just on two lines and pop it up a little bit. And let's play through it all again. So that's what your audience sees just as soon as you uh, click into this slide. Then you should it should pause and wait for you to click to make the trend line appear. There we go. We talk about the linear trend line. We click again. We talk about the forecast, and then the finale comes up when you're ready to. In 2011, revenue projections are approximately $75 billion. And that concludes how we should animate a graph with a trend line in PowerPoint. Thank you for your time.